It's easy to get lost in the everyday mundanity of life. Most people are concerned with problems at work or trivial issues at home. For perspective, it can be helpful to consider the conditions in other countries or even the environment on other planets. Today, we're looking far outside of our solar system to consider the most beautiful planets in the universe. 55 Cancri E is also known as the Diamond Planet. It's easy to understand why when you consider this amazing planet, which has about eight times Earth's mass. It earned this moniker because scientists suggested that it was composed of diamonds and graphite. While the theory is not as popular today, the planet still remains an interesting object of study due to its high density and its very close proximity to its parent star. Interestingly, one side of 55 Cancri E is always facing its star, meaning that it has a permanent day side and night side. Many scientists believe that this day side is covered in molten lava. The lava on the day side would reflect radiation from the star, contributing to the overall observed temperature of the planet. Now, a deeper analysis finds this planet likely has an atmosphere whose ingredients could be similar to those of Earth's atmosphere, but thicker. Lava lakes directly exposed to space without an atmosphere would create local hotspots of high temperature, according to scientists. In 2012, scientists discovered a new type of alien planet, a steamy water world that is larger than Earth, but smaller than Uranus. The standard bearer for this new class of exoplanet is called GJ1214b, which astronomers first discovered in December 2009. New observations by NASA's Hubble Space Telescope suggest that GJ1214b is a watery world enshrouded by a thick, steamy atmosphere. GJ1214b is like no planet we know of, study lead author Zachary Berta of the Harvard-Smithsonian Center for Astrophysics in Cambridge, Massachusetts said in a statement. A huge fraction of its mass is made up of water. The exoplanet, orbiting a small star only 40 light years away from us, thus opens dramatic new perspectives in the quest for habitable worlds. The planet, GJ1214b, has a mass about six times that of Earth, and its interior is likely mostly made of water ice. It appears to be rather hot and surrounded by a thick atmosphere, which makes it inhospitable for life as we know it on Earth. J1407b is the infamous gas giant with a gigantuan ring system. Located 420 light years away from Earth, the planet possesses one of the largest known ring systems in the galaxy. This earned the planet the nickname Super Saturn or Saturn on steroids. The rings consist of dust particles that come from the initial halo around the parent star, which was captured by the planet's gravity before it could accrete into proper planets. In fact, the accretion process continues within the ring system. From the initial establishment of human presence 7,600 years ago, several newly formed moons have been noted with frequent impact between these bodies. This has made J1407b an extremely interesting subject of study amongst astronomers. According to the lead researcher, the star is much too far away to observe the rings directly, but we could make a detailed model based on the rapid brightness variations in the starlight passing through the ring system. If we could replace Saturn's rings with the rings around J1407b, they would be easily visible at night and be many times larger than the full moon. Gliese 436b is a Neptune-sized planet that orbits a red dwarf known as Gliese 436, a star that is cooler, smaller, and less luminous than the Sun. Because of this close proximity, the planet's temperatures exceed 526 degrees Celsius, which is hot enough to ward off water in liquid form. Yet, current models indicate that a planet like this, which is composed mostly of hydrogen gas and has such high surface temperatures, should have significant quantities of methane in its atmosphere. It has been concluded by scientists and astronomers that there is a certain form of ice existing on Gliese 436b that is kept solid due to the immense gravitational force originating from the planet's core, which intensifies with increases in depth, thereby preventing the water from evaporating as it does on Earth. But making matters weirder is the fact that the planet's methane is likely combusting, meaning that in this world there are raging bonfires in the sky and ice on the ground, earning the planet the nickname the Planet of Burning Ice. 51 Pegasi b was the first extrasolar planet confirmed to orbit a Sun-like star. 
The planet orbits the fifth magnitude star, 51 Pegasi, located 48 light years away from Earth in the constellation Pegasus. 51 Pegasi has physical properties like luminosity and temperature very similar to those of the Sun. The extrasolar planet is not visible from Earth, but its presence was deduced in 1995 from the wobble that its gravity induces in the parent star's motion in a four-day cycle. It's also known that this planet is tidally locked to its star, much as our Moon is tidally locked to Earth, always presenting the same face to it. It's what's known today as a hot Jupiter. Consider that before 51 Pegasi b, the search for exoplanets, worlds beyond our own solar system, was exceedingly difficult. Once astronomers began in earnest to search for them, they searched for decades before finding any. In nearly all cases, exoplanets cannot be seen in the light of their parent stars, and astronomers had to develop clever technologies in order to discover them. As with many extrasolar planets, 51 Pegasi b was found using the radial velocity method. On December 12, 2016, astronomers at the University of Warwick in Coventry, England, announced they had detected evidence of powerful changing winds sweeping across exoplanet Hat P7b, a world 40% larger than Jupiter, orbiting a star 50% more massive than our Sun, some 1,040 light years away. They say theirs is the first ever weather report on a gas giant outside our solar system. They report the planet's clouds could be made of vaporized corundum, the mineral that forms rubies and sapphires. The planet is probably uninhabitable due to its likely violent weather systems and unaccommodating temperatures. One side of the planet always faces the star because it's tidally locked and that side remains much hotter than the other, with the dayside average temperature on Hat P7 being 2,860 Kelvin or about 4,688 Fahrenheit. PSR J1719-1438 is probably one of the most fantastical cosmic objects that you'll ever encounter. First, 1438 is a neutron star. A neutron star is a stellar object that is amazingly massive and amazingly small. Although neutron stars are at least 1.4 times the mass of our Sun, they are generally only about 20 kilometers across. Essentially, they are stars that are the size of small cities with an incredibly high mass. Since neutron stars are so dense, on Earth, one teaspoon of this stellar material would weigh about a billion tons. The planet's parent star is a special kind of flashing star known as a millisecond pulsar, a rapidly rotating neutron star formed from a supernova. The entire system, which is only the second of its kind ever discovered, is located about 4,000 light years from Earth in the constellation of Serpents. And to make things even crazier, the super high pressure of the planet has likely caused the carbon within it to crystallize into an actual diamond, a new study suggests. NASA's Hubble Space Telescope precisely measured the mass of the oldest known planet in our Milky Way galaxy. At an estimated age of 13 billion years, the planet is more than twice as old as Earth's four and a half billion years. It's about as old as a planet can be. It formed around a young, sun-like star barely one billion years after our universe's birth in the Big Bang. The ancient planet has had a remarkable history because it resides in an unlikely rough neighborhood. It orbits a peculiar pair of burned-out stars in the crowded core of a cluster of more than 100,000 stars. The new Hubble findings close a decade of speculation and debate about the identity of this ancient world. In 2014, scientists discovered the Godzilla of Earths, a new type of huge and rocky alien world about 560 light years from Earth. Dubbed a mega-Earth, the exoplanet Kepler-10c weighs 17 times as much as Earth and it circles a sun-like star in the constellation Draco. The mega-Earth is rocky and also bigger than super-Earths, which are a class of planets that are slightly bigger than Earth. Kepler-10c is a gas giant, but it's extremely atypical. Despite their great size, gas giants are actually not very dense because they're made up of vast atmospheres of hydrogen and helium around a small rocky core. The planet Saturn, for example, is so light that it would float in water if you could find a large enough bathtub. Kepler-10c, on the other hand, is solid, which is unheard of for a planet that size. Using infrared data from the Subaru Telescope in Hawaii, an international team of astronomers has imaged a giant planet around the bright star GJ504. 
Several times the mass of Jupiter and similar in size, the New World, dubbed GJ504b, is the lowest mass planet ever detected around a star like the Sun using direct imaging techniques. The alien planet GJ504b is a colder and bluer world than astronomers had anticipated, and it likely has a dark magenta hue, infrared data from the Subaru telescope in Hawaii revealed. If we could travel to this giant planet, we would see a world still glowing from the heat of its formation with a colour reminiscent of a dark cherry blossom, a dull magenta. Study researcher Michael McElwain of NASA's Goddard Space Flight Center in Greenbelt, Maryland, said in a statement from the Space Agency.